Hey, what's up guys? This is Austin back here with another video. I have my girlfriend's family with me. This is Presley. This is Dylan. He's nine. She's seven. But um, in this video, I'm going to go over basically nothing. I'm just going to give y'all an update on my bait company and everything. The baits is actually at Joe Kurt Singers now. So make sure to go check him out like I mentioned in several other videos. Um, he thought I'd done a really good job on them. He said the only thing was that I put a little too much thread on them. But just to make them hold better and everything. But the kids saw them and everything. They think they are pretty cool. The colors and everything. So if you are a little kid such as Presley, seven years old, or Dylan, nine years old, you can definitely catch your first fish on that, whether it be a bluegill, a crappie, or a bass. Um, when that water temp cools down, that's why I'm going to be fishing. I'm going to be fishing the Ned Rig, the swim bait, and the float and fly. But that's why I'm going to be fishing this winter. Um, on the boat situation, it's to come to a shop for both of y'all, for both of y'all, and most of y'all out there. I actually decided to wait unless I just come up with some money. But I'm going to be fishing out of Dad's boat. He told me I could take it anytime I want to. We just got to do a little bit of work to it. The sternum wheel's a little bit tied on it, but we're going to loosen that up, hopefully. We may have to just go buy one. If that comes the case, then we just buy it. But hopefully we won't. Fingers crossed. But definitely hope to have some videos by February out by fishing in a boat that way you can see what I throw how I use it what line what rod what reel and the camera girl which is my girlfriend Haley so I'm hoping to take her out on it get her on some winter smallies although it's gonna be cold get her introduced to the cold weather 20s and 30 degree air temperatures She's laughing right now. Looks like, oh my gosh. But hopefully, fingers crossed, she'll go with me. But um, we're definitely going to be doing that here to come. And my buddy Dylan here this spring, I don't want him to be out there and it cold and everything. But, um, and Presley, she's drinking some milk right now. But uh, hopefully, it's spring. When take them out and get them introduced to fishing, but that's gonna be that. I love fishing. You like fishing? Yeah. All right. You are my sister. We give you uh, your sister Haley, your sister Presley, and your rod and reel. I'm gonna go show them them. Yeah. That way you got your own rod and reel. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. okay. He's going and getting that. But um, I'm not gonna show y'all stuff like that. No, it's not. About hit myself in the head with it, not gonna lie. <laughs> but definitely gonna restring these up. She's gonna be fishing night crawlers and stuff, so we got that rigged up. But I think we not a bad fishing pole. That's just something for her to play around with. Hold up. Okay. Dylan, he's gonna be using this. Zipco sling shot, whatever that is. But he's going to be bluegill fishing also with knot crawlers and stuff. So we got that rigged up. It's wrapped around the rod right now. I'd say this rod's four and a half, five foot. 
but you can get these at Walmart, very inexpensive, like 10 bucks. I actually did not get these at Walmart. To be honest with you, I found them at a yard sale. I just want to get these kids something that they can play around with, fish and everything, and get into fishing. But uh, the hook is not, there it goes. But I know nothing about these. I ain't used this, these kind of rods and reels since I was a little bitty. When I was like nine years old, dad started me out with a spinning rod. So I ain't used these since I was like eight. You're good. And Haley, I got her into spinning rod and reels, as y'all know. <coughs> this right here. <coughs> I done forgot what you call that bait. Uh, you can get them at Dog Patch. But got those. Got a little tungsten Kitek. I think it's 16 cents head. Tied with a Palomar knot. This bait, I done forgot what it's called. It's a Berkeley Power Bait. And... It is in copper truce. I don't know why it's up there. If she had it there, so I'm putting it there. This rod is a Daiwa Samurai. I wish I'd have got the seven foot, although it's a bigger reel. But this has core candle. And that is, that fishing pole is pretty big. It can touch the ceiling. He says it can touch the ceiling, so it can about do anything if it does that right there. Yeah. But I have some four pound mono on here. This is Bass Pro. Great for throwing these finesse rigs like 16 cents and stuff like that. But um, I got this at Dick's. I think I gave like 30 bucks for it, if that. Might have been 24, 27, something. It's anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks. Wasn't over 30. But it's a little bit cheaper rod and reel, but great to start somebody out with. She's been using my Daiwa Tattoo Reel and my Daiwa, um, not the Fuego, but uh, Aridex. That's an Aridex, seven foot, medium light. She likes it a lot. So I figured it made sense to get her a Daiwa set up since she's already familiar with Daiwa. But if she needs to throw a jig or something, I have a spinning rod and reel for that. At, right there, it's just a finesse thing. You can even bluegill fish with that, but that's just what these kids is going to be rocking and everything. And I'll be sure to do a video on taking them fishing the first time. But, um. Uh, <clears throat> he's actually caught a bluegill. He's actually caught his first fish, a bluegill. So it's a great deal. I'm very proud of you. But, well, these boys that uh, live next door to us helped me uh, like fish, and I got we got a uh, bluegill. That's nice. Well, he heard the story and everything. I can't even remember when I caught my first fish. I seriously can't. All I remember is I had a zip code 202, and I'd cast it and then hang out, hang up in the middle of the cast. So hopefully zip codes that these kids has. Hopefully they don't do that, but that's about all I have. Dylan, you got anything to add? No. All right. Presley, you got anything to add? All right. Well, that's going to be a wrap, folks, but thank you all for watching. Thank you all for all my subscribers, the ones that takes the time to like and hit the know the bell, and actually the ones that takes the time to watch my videos. That means a lot. I just... I enjoy doing it. I don't think I'll ever be like Flair or John B. That's not my goal. My goal is to get kids like Dylan and Presley fishing and everything. I'm learning about fishing, more intrigued about fishing and everything. That was Presley's hand, by the way. But that's my ultimate goal. I remember my freshman year when I really got into fishing, uh, Gabe Blair. He actually took me out on his boat in a tournament and everything. He's actually on Cumberland at Conley Bottoms. And I was watching Andrew Flair when he was in high school and everything. And that's what really got me knowledgeable about fishing. And from there, I went to Lumpers TV. From there, it just kept going and going and going. And now, 
I may watch one every once in a blue moon, but that's about it. Because I feel like I've learned everything I can from them. They don't really know much about the Highland Reservoirs up here, like Cumberland and Laurel and stuff. And Tactical Bassin, a lot of y'all don't know, but they moved from California to Tennessee. So I'm hoping they just start fishing Cumberland some, where it's just about a four hour drive. But um, he actually has a striker video, but hopefully they come up here and do some smallmouth fishing or some largemouth or something. That way I can learn from them. But that's it. Thank y'all, and y'all have a good day.